Hey everyone, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am sharing with you how I clean my makeup brushes. So I have them all here and I'm gonna clean them because they need it. Now I should be doing this once a week. I don't, I'd say I do it about once a month. And I know some of you out there, according to an Instagram survey I did, have like never cleaned your brushes. So just please, just, if just clean one, like clean your, the one you use the most, foundation brush, blush brush, eyeshadow, whatever it is, just like, how about we just agree to clean our makeup brushes? There's a few, before we get into how I clean them, I wanna tell you why. One, because it's sanitary. Two, because it keeps your brushes to last longer. And three, it actually makes your makeup go a lot further. So for example, I have this brush here, this is an hourglass brush, and I could feel this morning when I was putting on my foundation that like, there's, there's stuff here, like there's makeup on here. And once I wash this, it will look completely different and my makeup will apply better and I won't have to use as much product. So it's a win-win, your brushes last longer, your makeup lasts longer, and therefore you save money. So, and oh, by the way, like it's not gross and they actually are like clean, so win-win-win. Just do it. First of all, what do I clean my makeup brushes with? Well, I have found a skill where I can find beauty products at pretty much every store, and this includes Home Depot. So I got this soap, it's called Zote. It's for use on delicate clothing. It smells a little bit like a citronella candle, but don't worry, you get over it. And it costs just over a dollar. And it lasts probably, I think like three or four years. If you clean your brushes regularly, maybe two years. It lasts so long and it's pink, so it's super cute. So this is what I use. I got one of those little uh, soap sponge thingies on Amazon because I didn't want this getting everywhere in my cabinets. This soap is really cheap. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy soap specifically for your makeup brushes. This isn't, I mean, this is like found at Home Depot. Other things that I've used are samples of face wash. If you receive face wash samples, but you wanna stick to your normal skincare routine, use those to clean your brushes. It's something I like to do when I travel, because I have all of these samples that I bring with me, and some I'm like, eh, not for me, but I can clean my makeup brushes with them. All right, so here's what I do. I simply take the brush and I wet it, and then I brush it against the Zote um, bar of soap. It, again, can be whatever, put soap on it. And then make sure it gets sudsy. And I have this, um, this brush cleaning pad here from Sigma, but you don't really actually need it. You can do it uh, both ways with the pad or without. This pad just kind of helps, but again, not necessary because when I'm in hotels, I definitely don't have this. So I make sure to you know, either use my fingers or use this pad and get as much of the product out, rinse it clean, and then go ahead and rinse and repeat. Get some more soap on it, swish it around, and until the water is running clear. Now this part's important. You wanna make sure that when you're drying your brushes that you're not drying them standing up. You don't wanna put them back into the container like this. What you wanna do is lay them sideways because you don't want the water getting into this portion of the brush because then the glue will like come out and it just won't be good and water will sit there. It's just not good. So let them sit. I let them just kinda of hang over my sink and I find that it works really well. I usually try and clean them at night and then when I wake up in the morning, like 90% of the brushes are dry. The only ones that aren't sometimes are ones that are denser like this one or some bigger brushes, but pretty much, and I mean, I think you give it a good seven or eight hours and they're usually all dry, as long as you, um, you know, wring, wring out the water enough. So I just continue this on for all of my brushes and it takes up a lot of space on the sink and it makes you realize how many makeup brushes you use. But I'm telling you, tomorrow or the next morning, when you go to put on your makeup, it's going to go on so much more smoothly. You're gonna need less product and you're gonna know that your brushes were cleaned. That's how I clean my makeup brushes. Uh, I hope it encourages you to clean yours tonight or tomorrow 
or like sometime soon. I promise you it's a good thing and it's really easy to do and it's not expensive. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.